Hi, I'm Chris Hamlet, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about materials testing and present to you an easy way of testing materials at home or in the classroom. But first of all, why is materials testing important? The, the main thing is to be able to choose the right material for the right job. So if you think about making a ladder, what would you make it out of? Would you make it out of the breadstick? Probably not, because if you, you'll snap very easily. How about a sponge? It's just too bendy. But maybe steel, which is like this knife. It's nice and rigid, and it'll be able to support your weight. So you, see, you saw me breaking materials there. And what I was doing with my hands was something called a three-point bend test. So if we take two supports like this, two cans, and put a beam of material in between, like this pencil, um, and push in the middle, that's basically a three-point bend test. You're supporting your beam of material in two places and putting force in the middle. So we can easily um, make one of these sort of tests at home using two cans, a beam of material, and a weight in the middle. So the setup for this experiment is you get two supports of the same height, in this case cans, and you put your beam across these, making sure it doesn't move. Then you put a small container in the middle of your beam and start filling it with small weights. In this case I've used coins, but you could use pebbles, beans, rice, anything that you can add in small quantities and gradually increase the weight. Keep adding the weight slowly and then the beam breaks. So now you've got to get, um, you've got to weigh the container and the weights. So make sure any of the coins, beans, pebbles, or whatever you are using as the weights, are all back in the container, and then you can weigh it. So take kitchen scales and make sure you weigh the weights inside and the container because that was all the weight that was on your beam. So there you saw the simple setup of how to perform a three-point bend test at home. Two of the things I must point out that do take a bit of design are how to keep your um, beam stable. So in that video you saw that I used sellotape and also how to apply a weight to make sure that your weight doesn't fall off the beam. So we devised this um, worksheet that can talk you through how to carry out a three-point bend test. And you can see on the picture here, I've used a Lego beam. And we've also got a link to our Padlet page, which is like an electronic notice board. And on there, you can show us your designs and how you've carried out a three-point bend test. And also what materials you've looked at. So you could have a go at breaking a pencil, but that is quite hard to break and also I need that later. Or you could try and design your own out of foodstuffs, such as you could test a breadstick. That breaks quite easily. Or a chocolate bar. Food is a fantastic way of looking at material science. So, have fun. Please download the, web, the, the worksheet and let us know how you got on. And have fun. Thank you very much.